Oh, it's very dark back there. Hold on. That's a bit lighter. I need to buy myself some heavy lights to go behind me. Okay, so this video is very different. I wanted to talk about um, body, body weight, weight loss, and subjects on this matter. Now, some of you may remember, um, in around about five or six years ago, perhaps, I lost an incredible amount of weight in a very, very short time. Now, originally, the goal was, there was no weight loss goal in mind. I was having problems with my stomach. Basically meant that I was having a lot of bloating and pain in my stomach area. And it turns out it was a very, a few foods that I just still, to this day, don't agree with me. So I decided to change my diet because I was having these re, and you know, the kind of stomach aches that would wake you up at night. And I decided to change my diet and I, started to eat very very small meals so i wouldn't i never ever had a full meal and it was many many meals throughout the day five or six throughout the day small ones and i cannot stress that enough and there was no weight loss goal in sight i just wanted to get rid of these stomach aches which it did that because i was cutting out huge amounts of food and food groups and i didn't notice any weight loss because it's on you to begin with and because I wasn't weighing myself. But around about the end of, because I started this in November of five or six years ago, and then by the December, the end of December, I did notice I'd lost weight. And there was, it wasn't at that precise moment, but there was something that just clicked in my mind, but I didn't weigh myself. And I remember, perhaps a month later, sitting in the bath, and I was just suddenly thinking, imagine how I'm gonna look in a month, or two months, or five months. And that's when it stopped becoming about my stomach aches and started to become about weight. And because you see yourself every day, you don't realize how much weight you're losing. And because I'm not one to take pictures of myself all day long, I didn't notice anything until a picture was taken of me when I went to a makeup seminar. And I was absolutely horrified by how lean my face looked. But it didn't stop me. I continued to eat the same diet I had. Now, over that course, I ended up losing around about four stone in approximately um, about five months or so. But I maintained that diet and I maintained that weight for a number of years. And it was at this point that I decided to enroll in like a exercise and nutrition online course, a very famous one. You have to send in pictures of your body and stuff like that. Now, despite how lean my face was and how lean my body was, I was down to around about a 30 inch waist and I'm six foot tall. And I decided to weigh myself and I was around about 11 stone seven. Now at my heaviest, I was 15 stone nine. But despite having this 30 inch waist and a very lean face, I was still in double digit body fat. So when I sent my pictures off to this place so they could assess, the assessment was that I needed to lean down even more before I could bulk up. Now that is quite common sense in the fitness and nutrition world. Sometimes they will get you to lean down and then they will start to bulk you up. The problem was, if I had dropped any more weight, and it would have taken approximately half a stone, about seven or eight pounds of weight, in order to drop me down to a single digit body fat. If I had done that, my face would have looked incredibly emaciated. And there is that age old saying that as you get older, you get to pick between your face and your ass. And it was at that point, I just remember thinking, there's something very wrong here. And it was also at that point that I finally acknowledged that I was hungry. And I would wake up in the morning hungry, I would go to bed at night hungry. I was never ever eating a full meal. And I believe in the video that I originally talked about with weight loss, I actually was not completely honest. I explained my food, which was very honest. What I did say was that once a week I would have a cheat day, a free day of just eating whatever I wanted. I did not do that. And I was speaking it because I wanted to do that, but I didn't because I'm all or nothing. I'm either on something or I'm not. So I never had a cheat day. 
And I was so hungry for so long. And I mean absolutely just rock, just this emptiness in my stomach all the time. And you get to a point, as most of you will probably know, where you've just had enough. And it's coming to an acceptance because I can completely understand why some people um, dislike their body so much and why and, and how it affects every aspect of your life, your love life, because you, you don't like your stomach, you don't like your thighs, you don't like your breasts, and you therefore don't want them touched because you feel ashamed of those areas of your body. And I can completely relate to that. And over this part, and from around about two years ago, I slowly started to gain weight because I was just horrified by this incredibly lean face. And I went from a 30 inch waist to a 32. And I stayed there for a good number of, about two years or so. But over the course of this quarantine period, I developed tennis elbow and I could no longer do any exercise whatsoever, even at home, because there was too much pain, at least with things like weight training. So I decided to lay off of it. And at that point, I also decided to just say, fuck it, and I just wanted to eat some food. Now, despite the fact that I have many pairs of jeans, I tend to wear the same ones over and over again. And when I'm not wearing them, I just put jogging bottoms on. But this time I decided, look, I've got more jeans than this. I'm gonna put them on. And then they didn't fit. I could do them up, but it was not a comfortable experience. So I thought, hmm, I'm gonna try the next pair. And that was the same thing and the same thing. And I'd realized I'd gone up in weight. I weighed myself a couple of days ago and I was 14 stone, pretty much on the dot. And there is a sense of failure. You feel like you've failed yourself. You feel like you've, you've let yourself down. You've, and this is where the irony comes. And I know this is just some weird rambly video, but on one hand, I don't want to be that lean anymore. On the other hand, I want to be that lean again. And every morning I wake up with the same struggle, which is I'm going to go right back on my old plan again. And then I don't because I know instinctively it's not a good way to live. I shouldn't live that way. You shouldn't be living ravenously hungry. And it messes with your mind. And I also stumbled upon, um, during this quarantine period, Stephanie Buttermore. And Stephanie Buttermore did a you need to check her out. I'm going to put a link in. Not that she needs a link, but I'm going to put a link in. She decided to do a video on All In. Now, I'm not going to discuss that video here. I think you should watch her videos if you are struggling with weight or issues with anything to do with that. She is the best resource. And I watched her All In videos and I could relate to the struggle that she was feeling about herself, even though she knew this was a process she needed to do. She struggled. And she was honest about that, and you could see that in the videos. And this is where I am. I'm stuck between what I call a rock and a hard place. I prefer my face like this. I prefer it fuller. And luckily I don't have any, you know, I'm not huge or anything like that. But I'm about a 34 inch waist now. And there is this, when I mention failure, there's also what I call financial failure. You know when you lose weight and you buy new clothes and you're like, all right, I'm gonna chuck out all that other shit that I used to wear because, you know, in a bigger size, yeah, mistake. Because now I have no clothes that fit. <laughs> and literally I wear, you know, the same things over and over. My shirts don't fit, my jumpers don't fit, my um, cardigans, they don't fit. So you think, I, right, I, rather than buy new stuff, I need to lose weight so I can fit back in them. But to lose it is, it feels detrimental to what I'm trying to achieve because I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be consumed with every single thing I eat. And what else is interesting is when I mentioned something about weight a while ago, some of the comments were that it was refreshing to hear a, gem, a guy speak about um, weight. And it's funny because over the course of the past few weeks, two people I know very well, um, both straight men, just, I don't know why I'm saying that, I just, I guess it may mean something, I don't know, but in their 50s, both mentioned their weight, patting themselves on the stomach, I need to lose some weight, and I kind of think that's how we deal with it, men, we're like, I need to lose a bit of weight, and that's it, but 
it does affect you how you feel about yourself, no matter what sex you are. I do, however, think that women have it a lot harder. I think the images are a lot stronger. Although I think with the male category, we're catching up now because there are unrealistic standards every single where you go. Magazines, YouTube, they're everywhere. And we want to look like that. We want to work like that. But what we don't realize is oftentimes it's their job to look like that. And oftentimes what we still don't realize is that in order for them to look like that, they may not necessarily be healthy because being at a very low body fat level is not always that healthy for you. And as Stephanie pointed out, it isn't about the way you look, it's about how you feel, what your blood work is telling you, what your reproductive system is telling you, what your hormone levels are telling you. And as I struggle with this, I realize that what I need to do is eat normal meals three meals a day and snack if I'm hungry. And I need to listen to what's going on inside my body and not what's going on inside my head, which of course is telling me to dump all this weight, fit back in your clothes, don't buy new clothes. And it's that internal dialogue. And I have a feeling that a lot of you may relate to what I'm personally feeling about myself. So I just wanted to share it with you. And I look forward to the comments because I think it's a topic that is we're all too familiar with, we're all too hard on ourselves with. And the ironic, the ironic thing about me is that I tend to find people with more weight attractive. It's very rare that I'm a head will be turned at a really lean body in, in a kind of awe way. I, I prefer more weight on someone, yet I don't on myself. Isn't that ironic? And a while ago somebody said, well, why don't you just lose the weight and then put fillers in your face? That's such a strange thing for me. Why would I want to do that? First of all, I don't want that stuff in my face. Nothing wrong with it, I just don't want it in my face. And it also seems so counterproductive, right? You have this really lean physique and yet the face of somebody that it doesn't belong on anymore. And um, it's, it's strange. There was a YouTube video done by a dermatologist or a doctor or both, I guess they are doctors. And he said, that a lean face is a more attractive face. And I understand what he's saying, but I totally disagreed with a lot of the points in the video. In the video, he was showing celebrities before and after. He also used, showed a YouTuber, which I didn't really appreciate because I thought it was just a vile thing to do and disrespectful. But when he was showing these celebrities, he was showing them at their worst, right? Like Charlize Theron when she decided to gain weight for the film Monster. Now, she may have looked very, very different when she wasn't in that role without all that kind of, you know, with her face like that. If she was just at that weight and she'd done her hair and she was, she may look very, very different. And ironically, I just, I found it, I didn't agree with the points in that video. I don't believe that a very lean face is a more attractive face. And I think you can see that throughout history, that a lean face isn't always the most attractive. And I just didn't agree with all the points. I agreed with the overfilling of faces, but I didn't agree that a lean face is necessarily a more beautiful one. I don't find that for myself personally, and I'd like to know what you think about that point and about this video. I'm going to leave the comments in the description bar with, um, in the description bar, I'm sorry, um, on Stephanie's channel. Very lovely person, very smart person, and a very beautiful person inside and out, and I think it's worth um, watching those videos if you are struggling with your hunger levels, with extreme hunger, with body issue problems, I think her videos are very important. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.